Hello everyone and welcome to another in my Oracle SQL video tutorial series and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to do an alter table command in which we create a table but we forget to set our constraint for like a primary key well, how do we go in and fix that so let's go ahead and take a look now on how we would do this and I've got some existing tables and we're gonna go ahead and add a new table if you follow my series you'll see that uh, you should know how to create a table. We're going to go ahead and create a new table and then we're going to go in and use the alter table to create our constraint that we forgot to do in our initial setup. Hopefully you don't come across this but I just wanted to put that out there so that you have that skill. If we take a look at this uh, simple ERD here I want to do a project table. Now in my ERD I've already defined what's a foreign key, what's a primary key, what attributes I'm going to have and just based on other documentation I've done I've also determined which data types and their values that I'm going to include for this one I'm going to build a project table based on these parameters in my entity relationship diagram and I'm going to put that using SQL code into my database using Oracle Apex I'll go ahead and see what tables I have here and, and from previous lesson you see I created a department table an employee table and suppliers table and here in Oracle I can always just click on the table to take a look at what's there here I've got my uh, attributes for my columns defined here what data type what their length is so I've got all that done here and I've also determined whether it could be null or not when a new record is entered so for this one I'm going to add yet another table and I'm going to create the project table very simple uh, script since you if you followed along before we're just going to we want to create a new table that's exactly what we're going to type create table I want to call this table project and my preference is to go ahead and hit enter hit my open parenthesis enter a couple times with my close parenthesis and go ahead and put my semicolon to end my script now I'm going to go back and start putting all of my data in based on my ERD I know that I'm going to have a project ID and that's number data type it cannot be null this is going to be my primary key but I want to make sure that I do not put that in right away and see if I could type in null I will put a comma here and go down to my next line my next attribute will be project name for whatever project employees are working on. This data type is going to be varchar2. And the values could, I'm just going to put 100, you could put 90, 80, whatever. I'll just put 100 to keep it simple. This cannot be null. No reason to have information here if they're not currently working on a project. Put my comma, next line, department ID. What department are the employees that are working on a project? Where are they from? Or what project is this uh, department? What department is this project assigned to? You could look at this different ways. So we'll say that this is going to be a numeric or number data type, not null again. How many hours? What are the max amount of hours that can be used for this project? This is a number format as well. Cannot be null. Uh, when did the project start? When did it end? So start date. Obviously date, data type. It can be null. Maybe we're putting our projects in, but the projects have not started yet. And then end date. This is once again a date data type. That can be null and no need to put a comma because this is my last data type now if I select my SQL code here and I run this I will hopefully see that my table was created successfully it did if I go up into find tables now I will see that that new table is now here so I can close this but as I said I forgot to determine what was my primary key. Well I can still go in and alter this table 
and be able to not worry about dropping my table which will completely remove the database or the table from the database I can just go in and I can type in you guessed it alter table now we can put some additional code in there to be able to make the change that I need to make so I have to define well what table do I want to alter well I want to alter the project table of course so I type in project now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and what I want to do in altering this table is I want to add a constraint and I want this constraint to just be the primary key so it's going to be the primary key of the project table so I'm just going to call it project underscore pk for primary key and this type of constraint is for primary key and the primary key that I want to be used in my project table is project ID so I put that in my parentheses here project ID close parentheses put my semicolon now if I run this and here in Oracle Apex I want to make sure I only select what I want to run hit run no issues the table was altered if I go back to my tables my table has been clearly identified everything looks good now when I go in I have a primary key but based on my ERD my entity relationship diagram I have a, another key that's being used and that's the department ID here I'm also using this in my department table so this is a foreign key in this project table because it's a primary key in my department table so just like I did up here I am going to actually I will just cheat a little bit more I'm going to copy my code or I could just override it but start down here I'm gonna alter the table what table project I'm gonna add a constraint for this table and this is going to be my foreign key so I'm going to add constraint called project FK for foreign key space and I want this to be a foreign key and the column I'm going to use is department ID that's it put my semicolon in and I'm ready to run that so now I will have a foreign key and this will help with my relationship building in finishing my database so if I run that I have a missing keyword here because when we're working with foreign keys we need to say oh well if this is a if the primary ID is being used where is it being used so unlike our primary key we have to do another line in which we are referencing the table that it is a primary key in or where else it's being used so I'm simply going to type in hey this references project or department so that where is it referenced at the department table and what's it called there well nothing trivial here department ID now this will allow me to say okay it's a foreign key here because it is a primary key somewhere else and I should probably spell that correct so we'll put the T in there now I can run this and we should it should now say hey everything looks good I see the relationship here good job let's move on so if it's been a while since you create your tables and whenever you go to alter tables make sure before you run anything that you double check so if I want to make sure that I've got the right code here the right references since this is a new script that I'm creating against old tables if I go to my find tables I'll pull this down here and I click on my department I'm gonna make sure that I've got department ID which I didn't spell correctly here I want to see how it was actually labeled here so if I look there say oh it was department underscore ID so I want to make sure over here that I do the same thing so let's go ahead and make sure that we have I jump back and forth here 
so underscore. Now if I believe I'm ready to run, I can run this. And hopefully, we haven't made mistakes, but if we did, then we may have to, if it doesn't like this, we may have to alter our table even more so that the department ID is labeled correctly. When it comes to doing SQL, make sure you're just testing your code before, uh, you know, if you've got some dummy tables created before going against your live database. And in the real world, what we do in the enterprises is we have our test environments that we do all of our testing before we put it into our live environments. A lot of places don't do that, but make sure that wherever you're at, you do that. Uh, for this Oracle Apex video, this is just, you know, I've got some dummy tables created, uh, but in the enterprise, I would make sure that I make all my changes in the test environment before I do it into the live production environment. Um, it's a lot easier to roll back in the test environment. Um, and a lot of times here in IT, we don't get a, the amount of time that we would like to have and the opportunities we like to have to be able to make changes. So we have to wait for like lunches or a downtime to where we can do things like this. But you can see that the table's been altered. Now I have a primary key and a foreign key based on a table that I created without having those built in like I should have. I hope you guys found this information helpful. Uh, it's all about making sure that you're doing your work systematically and methodically so that you're not making errors. But that's the beauty of these test environments is to do this and practice these Oracle skills. You know, whatever uh, platform you're using, SQL is SQL. You just have to learn maybe some syntax based on which platform you're using. If I were to use Microsoft SQL Server, I, there's you know some things that are different there than there is here in Oracle. Um, MySQL, there are some ch differences there. It's all based on syntax. But learning and understanding the concepts of SQL will help you switch from platform to platform anytime you need. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, make sure you practice these skills because that's the only way you can remember them is if you practice them and save your scripts. That way you can always reference them. Thank you for following along. I said I hope you found this helpful. Uh, feel free to practice often, drop your tables, create new tables. You know, if you can come across some entity relationship diagrams out there, take those, do a screenshot, and build your own database. Thank you for following, and have a great day.